Ladies and gentlemen, in this Red Gaming Theatrecom video, we're going to be talking about the Wii U, its sales, and of course, games. Now, there have been a couple of announcements from both Ubisoft and from Electronic Arts over the last couple of days, and those uh, announcements are really going to be hurting Nintendo. Now, obviously, right now, Microsoft are the ones that are receiving a lot of negative press. However, Nintendo are not having a great time of it either. Most people say that their E3 showing was fairly quiet, really, and despite the fact that they have some good games, they weren't quite so brazen about it, maybe, as what they should have been. So with just the last couple of days, and of course E3 just ending, we have Ubisoft who have said that they're not going to be making any more exclusive Wii U titles whatsoever until the sales of the Wii U rise. And meanwhile, Electronic Arts have said that they're going to re resume I'm sorry, Wii U support when it's a viable platform. Either of those two quotes are painful by themselves, but adding them together, it is not a good state of affairs for Nintendo's new console. Now, of course, we all know about Ubisoft's Rayman Legends. Originally, it was going to be a Wii U exclusive game. And then things got quiet for a while. Things started to become a little bit uh, up in the air. And of course, now we know it's going to be a multi-platform launch, which, of course, Nintendo themselves are likely not very happy about. Ubisoft themselves are saying that the this responsibility now is actually on Nintendo uh, for two reasons. One, they have to actually inspire and encourage developers and publishers, of course, to support the platform. And the second is, well, they simply have to shift more units. I'm going to read you guys out a quote, and this one is from the Ubisoft CEO, Yves Gilmot, and he's stated, uh, we need more sold. They're coming with the biggest uh, brands ever, five of the biggest brands ever, and the yen went down, so maybe they will take steps that will increase the number of consoles sold. Our job is to be agile. We have to adapt the company to the potential of the market, so what we did last year was we knew we could learn a second screen with Nintendo, so we went full speed to use this capacity with this console was bringing end quote. So I suppose you could almost assume that that's them just being, okay, well, we're going to pretty much take the risk, see what happens with the console, but at least we can learn how to use this second screen, which, of course, uh, is something that you can actually do with, say, the PlayStation 4 as well. Meanwhile, we have reports from Electronic Arts. We also have a series of quotes right here from EA. I'll read them out. Look, the only thing they can do is fix to sell more boxes. We're a rational company. We go where the audience is. We publish games where we think we can make a great game and hit a big audience and make money. That's why we're here. That's why we have an industry. The Wii U, we shipped four games. We shipped Madden, FIFA, Need for Speed, and Mass Effect. In fact, the last Need for Speed shipped 60 days ago and had a pretty good Metacritic. It was a good game. It wasn't a shot. It wasn't a shoddy port. We actually put extra time into getting everything to work, and it's just not selling because there are no boxes. End quote. That is not a good state of affairs for Nintendo. Now, you can argue it's only four games, and you can also argue that Madden and FIFA maybe aren't appealing to certain audiences, but the bottom line is, on other systems, they do sell extremely well. So, is there any hope for Nintendo? Is it really that grim? Well, the Wii U sales have been poor, there is no doubt about it, and of course, we've had rumours and reports that Nintendo are phasing out certain um, low-range models of the Wii U. However, the good news is that, from their perspective at least, the Xbox One is also doing pretty badly in negative press. Plus, of course, you've got the DRM issues uh, with the Xbox One, which has actually spurred, since the Xbox One's announcement, apparently, the Wii U sales to go up quite significantly. Somewhat amusingly, however, in the United States, of course, with a store known as Best Buy, I'm sure you guys are familiar with it, um, there have been reports that Nintendo were actually teaming up with Best Buy to provide Wii U kiosks to demo new games that are coming out. And rather amusingly, there are reports that new, from numerous stores and locations, may I add, that, well, 
people have been approached in line while they're waiting for this um, demo to play. And they're apparently Microsoft employees and they're asking, why are you going to buy a Wii U? The Xbox One is releases right around the corner. And so there's even been a one image that has been released and this has been from a NeoGAF member. We don't know exactly the extent of it, but it this it did seem to be fairly prolific. And once again, you can just Google that, um, and you can find various links and images and so forth if you so wish. So yeah, it's a fairly bad state of affairs for Nintendo because right now they are really on the losing end of this. They obviously are fighting two battles. One, the sale of the units. That's a big one. That's like huge because if you can't sell the units you simply cannot get games to be uh, people or sorry games developers to actually develop anything for your system and that of course in turn means that who's going to buy it if there are no games available on the other hand they're also fighting another battle in the age of systems that are several times more powerful than the wii u if there are not going to be any Wii U exclusives, how is the system going to be faring if it's going to be primarily receiving ports? Now, I suppose in one respect they're fairly lucky because the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 are not going to be phased out a day after the PS4 and Xbox One are released. That's good news for them because that means they can at least get some titles because obviously those games are going to be released on the Xbox 360 and PS3 as well. However, the long term, it is not good for the survival of the system. So no doubt Nintendo are going to want to do their absolute darndest right now to try and push through uh, this barrier. They were obviously already working with indie developers and there have been numerous reports from various indies and said that we're actually working quite closely with Nintendo and they're saying that, especially with the Unity Engine announcement, that Nintendo's support has gone up. Nintendo have been fairly stodgy recently, as you guys are aware, with... Um, or shall I say up until recently, with indie support. But as I mentioned in yesterday's video, they've been a lot more open to it and a lot more supportive, which is obviously good, because honestly speaking, they, well, really need everything they can get right now. It's that simple. You cannot look any development in the mouth uh, when you're basically struggling. And so it's a simple fact that they need more exclusives. And the problem is, I don't care how many first party exclusives you release you can't release enough there's only a certain amount of marios zeldas and so forth you can flood the market with and the bottom line is as i've said previously in other videos if someone has not been interested in mario before if someone has not been interested in zelda before why would they be interested in it now? Now, you can argue that, you know, people are willing to try out new things. Yes, but the problem is you're asking them to try out new things when they've not even bought your console. So, in other words, they have to pay money for this. This is exactly the same problem as I was saying yesterday um, in the Xbox One video where a Microsoft employee said, well, you know what? If you buy the system, you can understand the benefits of this DRM and you know the online requirements. Once again, that means I have to buy it to understand the benefits. And in the case of games, especially if you've not been a fan of Zelda or Mario and so forth before, then why would you do it right now? The problem is you just need more games. Nintendo, of course, have also pissed off numerous YouTubers because they've been basically claiming... Um, well, money from them. And that's, of course, reduced the amount of Let's Plays and so forth on YouTube. Because ultimately, obviously you guys know that I don't really focus on Let's Plays that much. I don't really do Nintendo ones anyway. But, and we're talking about ex Nintendo first-party games right now. We're not talking about, like, you know, games from Ubisoft, Electronic Arts, or whatever. But, well, the problem is, they've just been hurting their own fan base. Yeah, you... you They've been basically biting the hand that feeds them in that respect, and now, of course, they're having issues with the sales of, well, the console, and now you're having problems getting and attracting big names, and you cannot lose developers like EA and Ubisoft. It's just not good for business. It's terrible for business, as I'm sure any of, one of you guys can appreciate. Furthermore, to further illustrate this, the lineup of the new consoles, I'm talking about the Xbox One 
and the P PlayStation 4, and of course the old generation as well, and of course the PC have incredible game lineups. I mean, really good game lineups. I'm not going to bother to reel through all of them, but Xbox One, I don't like the DRM and stuff, but I've got to admit it does have a good lineup of games coming out for it. And the same thing for the PS4. Now, I will argue, and I'm sure many of you guys will agree, there's nothing exactly innovative there. I mean, there are the odd title here and there that is quite interesting, but there's nothing extremely uh, innovative in terms of their titles. The problem is, well, they're still going to sell extremely well. And honestly speaking, despite the fact the PS4 and so forth are going to be significantly more expensive than the Wii U, it's also going to have a hell of a lot of a better lineup and much better graphics. This trap, if you will, has been hitting numerous console manufacturers, including Sega. Now, Sega, unlike Nintendo, didn't have the massive stockpile of cash to weather the Dreamcast slash Saturn, right? Because obviously that's the primary reason that they crumbled. The main reason was the Saturn. But people lost faith before the Saturn was released, primarily because of the amount of add-ons to the 16-bit era uh, system, either the Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on the region, uh, received. And then the Saturn came out, and Sony undercut the system in terms of the price of uh, sale. And in addition to that, the system was rushed out. And so you get all of these factors together, and the Saturn started rocky, and it just didn't get better because development for it was very difficult. So, of course... A multitude of different issues hit the system, and the system was just never able to recover, and then the Dreamcast came out, and with the prolific piracy on the system, that put people off developing for it. The lack of buttons put gamers off as well, because uh, some titles, for example, I think it was Unreal or something like that, it was just a pain in the ass to play on the Dreamcast, and with all of those different things, combined with the fact that it just wasn't selling as well as what Sega, of course, hoped. They just crumbled. Now, Nintendo are certainly not going down that route. The 3DS is selling fairly well, and they do have the money to weather the financial storm, but I do wonder how they're going to pull out of this uh, spiral. And this is a very difficult spiral to get out of, and obviously other consoles have gone through it as well. It's a simple catch-22. You don't have the games... No one's going to buy the system. No one buys the system who's going to develop for you. It's that simple. So anyway, um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It's been a fairly short one, I know, for my particular videos. But hey, what are you going to do? Hopefully I will see you guys soon. Take care and bye for now.